Oh, gotta put these bad boys on. Back at it. Again. Wait, you got another belt? I got two. Oh my, it's a spinner what, belt. Too. How? Oh my. Big podcast championship belts. This, this is just unfair now. You can't just have two of those. I have. You can just give yourself a second one. That's not I how those have work. Two my own one. So. Unbelievable. Just bad. Take that. After his temper tantrum last week, he's fucking got two belts, though. Yes, cheer for me. Clap for me. Bow down to your master, as it were. Actually, uh... Give him the old GCW salute. Yeah, Yeah. the old GCW salute. Yeah, so the podcast champion is obviously back, Ryan Knightsey. Oh, let me crack it open. Crack open a cold one. Ooh, Ooh, we got some cold ones. I got some ice here, baby. I have cider again because cider is fucking delicious it's fair what is that apple cider is that apple cider i assume it's I hard think. cider it's from angry orchard it's hard apple it's cider. fucking oh. delicious you were both right yes we were right. right i'm the podcast champion oh. uh, <laughs> note from our audience that are I... you like the undisputed are you like now like the universal undisputed podcast champion yeah, like, like, is I'm there a... two belts that you unified or is yes, like this is, this is the happy hour one and this is ring post radio <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, I actually have a note from our audience from last week that I, I'm uh, being forced to address live on air to start off with the show. So oh, okay. you guys don't mind. <laughs> Zach, you actually kind of mentioned it. So uh, I, I, I do not want to read this. I, well, my lawyer shouldn't say that. Uh, what I, um, so the audience, I, I, the audience has requested that I read this live on air to start the show. What is going on? <laughs> Due to Ryan Knightsey's behavior at the end of episode four recording of Happy Hour, Mr. Nightsey is hereby on podcast probation. If behavior <laughs> continues, then Mr. Nightsey will not have to not only forfeit his podcasting championship title slash belt, he will be relieved <laughs> of his hosting duties of the happy hour program. So apparently I what? upset a bunch of people at the end of being, I was being too wild and crazy. <laughs> Who and delivered this mind. to you? And losing my mind at the end of last episode. Who and delivered you like this board. cease and desist notice to stop being crazy? Yeah, so I, apparently, apparently I lost my mind using the soundboard and, and I lost my cool too much that I'm on probation. Cut without pay next. <laughs> and, and without championships. Yes. I w- Those will be stripped vacant. <laughs> Up for grabs by anybody in the Countout family. Yeah, so... 24-7 um, podcast championship. Yeah, so I'm on wrestling podcaster probation. Um... But I'm still champ. So in the meantime, I have to be, be on my best behavior, apparently. So. Next time we all see each other, we have to fight over that belt, right? Yes. We have to do something to win that belt, right? I if You know what would be worse, though? If we fight for the belt and he still wins it, he will oh. never let that go. What would, how, would we, how would we determine the, a new winner? I, Is it just like podcast downloads? I, I mean, that, there's, listen, it's like a, that it's a handicap match, my dude. Well, no, I'm pretty sure Lauren still wins. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You just walk it with his. I thought fucking... you meant. I thought you meant versus us three in particular. Oh yeah, I was like, yeah. Lauren oh, walks up. All up. It's definitely going to be probably. Me. <laughs> we, we, we'll find out some way. We'll think about this. Yeah, we'll figure. So how? Yeah, how do we? How, let's solve. Let's solve this right now. Let's, how do we? How do we figure out who is the podcast champion? I mean, I mean, I'm saying this now. I'm never going to lose this belt. I'm telling you right now, I'm never, never losing this podcast. Yeah, we just need to figure out a good unless way. I go on probation, unless I get fired. Okay. Unless, yeah. Uh, we need to figure out a good way to pass that around, Tom, and figure out who wins the belt. A good way to challenge for it. Yeah, what's the... So how do you challenge? Does anyone know how to challenge? Do we just put forth... Does someone just say on happy hour challenge, and then it is like the beat? I mean, it, is, it, it has happened the past two weeks in a row. The first time you showed the belt, I challenged you for it. And then the second time, Zach challenged you for yes. it. But then we never determined what the challenge was. Well, we never, the, the champion, so it's like the never champion. Never been addressed since. But it, it wasn't relegate. It, it wasn't like, you know, we we didn't, I didn't want to defend it. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm not yeah, a, I'm you're, not a, I'm you're not a heel. Not, I'm a heel, baby. I don't uh, want to defend this, defend this title. You want to go live on your farm and like rip, far, uh, like farming equipment apart with your bare hands. Yeah. Like, but now the question is. Like Rock Lester probably does. The question is now: uh, I should, I probably have to, per this probation, be a defending champion. So I think That's now true. it's 
So I think the idea is like when you challenge for it, you have to be on happy hour to challenge for it. But then it's a question of how do we determine yeah. the game? What's the motivation? Zach, what do you think? What uh, you my first thought was uh, a predictions thing, kind of like how uh, Cult Pollock does it. Oh, interesting. What do they do? I don't, I don't know. What, so, I, don't, I don't listen to any other podcast besides Count Out. Well, last time I listened to them when they did this was they basically had a bunch of – they predicted on how the matches would go throughout a pay-per-view. Uh-huh. Whoever got the most right would get the belt. Whoever got like the that. most wrong had to do a punishment. We could do those, uh, like those pick-up sheets we used to do for WrestleMania, right? Yeah, but a pay-per-view won't happen every weekend. That it's very true. Before. Well, it's a bell. It doesn't have to be defended every weekend. Yeah. This is true. We can build to the yeah, bell. Yeah, we can. Take we it. get Ryan. We 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 did this. We did this podcast already. Now we just have to do it in real life. We have no, to book crazy. ourselves. Long term booking, baby. But here's the thing. Like, so let's say, like, that- I challenge you for the podcast for the podcast title. Is that a challenge? The, is that the, a challenge? You know what? Yeah. You know what, Ryan? I don't know. I for I do not remember what the next AEW pay per view is. Wait, but- huh? November. November. Perfect. Was that Revolution? I believe full gear? so. Full gear? I, 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 believe I think it's full gear. I think you're right. I think it's full gear. It is full gear. Got a challenge. All right. Has a Listen, I what really rules to this challenge, you said. I, I really, Zach, I think Zach's idea was pretty great. I didn't even finish my thought on the on my. I was gonna say that like, what if Zach? Chow- yeah, because I was I was trying to set an example and you took it very seriously. I'll, I'll make you an example when I beat. I was trying to make an example oh, of what Zach's my. point was. Listen, oh. I was trying to make an example of what Zach's point was being, where it was like how instead of having it defended every weekend, we challenge for it like during pay-per-views, and then we predict that pay-per-view that we challenge on. Whoever gets the most right wins the belt, whoever does it loses, and whatever, whoever gets the most wrong gets punished. And then we can build to it on the weeks upcoming, like a fucking wrestling show. Yeah, but what if while we're waiting for the next pay per view, someone challenges and then wins the title off of an earlier show? Then, oh, that is a good question. Wait, what do you wait? Yeah, so, what if, so you challenge me for a full gear prediction. What if yeah. Zach in the same episode challenges me for a GCW emo fight thing? And oh, we're going like you know what I mean? Go whatever, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then he wins, and then your challenge is null and void. Also, what if the challenge is just like I'm gonna beat you in a uh, rock paper scissors? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if it is like just you know BTE title style? BTE title style, like you just, just it can be whatever. Yeah, I, mean, I challenge you to a Madden tournament. Like it can be a prediction thing. It could be. I you challenge know, you to Settlers of Catan. It should nerd. be something that we have to do on the. <laughs> My man just pulled out Settlers of fucking Catan. <laughs> Dude, you want to get back? I played that game for the stairs. Let's do it. I played that game for the first time like two weeks ago, and it was very fun. I can only imagine how fun it is. It's been around Dude, forever. It, like, it's so weird. I've never played it before in my life, but like I played it for maybe like twenty minutes, and I felt like I've been playing it forever. It's it's really simple and easy, and I think it's I, really it's really easy to pick. It's really really easy to pick up. It's just great fun. It's like a great little thinking game. I, I hmm. I'm hooked. I want to play more. I want to play more Catan. I'm a big uh, board game guy, Zach. I'm, I don't know if you remember this from. I like, remember your your stacks of them, and I remember being like, "I want to play so many of these, but we don't have the time, so I have to just look at them." Yeah, I had I have Settlers. I think the thing about board games and Settlers and a bunch of other stuff is that there's a lot of pieces and stuff, and that might p- like people are like, "Oh, that's way too much setup and all, oh, way too many things to remember." But like once you start doing it, it's like, "Oh, this is real simple and easy, and I get it completely." Like it makes sense. There's so many board games that you can play once and be like, oh, I completely understand how to play this now. Like, yeah. the problem is that people don't remember how they learned how to play Monopoly or Sorry. It's just um, kind of a thing that they picked up, yeah. Yeah, it, it, like, they yeah. don't remember, like, when they learned that when they were, like, four, you know? They yeah. just have to do it. And it's so much fun. Board games are the best. I love board games so much. But that's the yeah. thing. So if a challenge should be something that we have to do on the show, it can be a prediction because we can predict the things on the show. But it could be other stuff, maybe. I like a. I also do like a live, like board game. Like we have, I, we can pretty. I'm sure we can figure out the capability. Like we've we've done a stream of board games before. This is true. This is accurate. We so can just stream challenge? it. We can just like we can just like have like a, a half hour of happy hour, and then let, use the last half hour or go over or whatever to play the game. Possibly. So, Mikey, uh, if you're going to um, challenge, throw down the challenge gauntlet. Do I have a sound of a, a glass being thrown? Glass. No, I had not. So, 
okay, so the, the base of the challenge is the challenge could be whatever as long as it could be performed, as long as it could be shown live so the results could be confirmed. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point because we need spectators. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need spectators. Yes. It's still a title match. Uh -huh. There still needs to be fans to cheer us uh -huh. on. Mm -hmm. We still need to be heels and faces for somebody. Yeah, so what's your challenge, sir? So, I still like Zach's idea. Okay. So, I think I'm still going to roll with that. Because I don't think I have any other challenges in mind right now. Except for maybe like a one-on-one -on -one game with Book It. But that seems like a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, I will, I will hold my challenge for full gear. Okay. So, at the upcoming AEW full gear pay-per-view, mm -hmm. me and you will... We'll have we'll we'll predict two wins. We'll make predictions on it. Watch it live. As one next, ha next happy hour. A after full gear. After full gear, we bring we bring the the prediction sheets, and we uh we tell we we uh, tally up our, our our totals. Okay, challenge delivered. All right, challenge delivered. So there we go. I got some studying to do. I can't wait to see how this goes. So, how so do we make the predictions now, or when do we make these predictions? I feel like I'll, as a side, as a neutral party in this now, because even though I want you to lose, I have to be neutral in the situation. I feel like you have to wait for the card to be announced. <laughs> That's, That's fair. Like, <laughs> That's probably no, it. no, no long. You can't just be like, ah, oh, it's gonna be CM Punk versus Brian Danielson at full gear. Yeah, and then it just ends up. And then it's just, being... and then neither of them are on the card. That's not, like that's uh... not humanly possible. But <laughs> I made a post-it note <laughs> to remind nice. us later. This is gonna be interesting because AEW's pay per views usually have like a mouse. ton this of matches mouse on them. That will help us later. Well, really, I'm gonna ch ch cross out my name and write champion. This guy. This guy. No, because I. This guy's I, going down. I it's... cannot wait. Can we? We need that. We know. You know, we need to have like an allotted time for promo battles now, right? Yes, Possibly. please. Here's the thing is that I also might not be champion. I will be champion by then, by full gear by November. But like on the on the like one percent chance that I'm not, you know, then that champion has to defend their title at full gear. Okay, okay, or at the next pay per view, you mean? Yeah, or okay. or whatever whatever your challenge is, the the champion will have to defend their title in a prediction battle at full gear against Mikey. Nice. Okay, but it's gonna be me. Because I'm gonna be champion. I'm gonna win that goddamn thing. This I'm the best. Because I'm the best. Sorry, I need to. I need to calm down. I can't yell. I'm on probation. I need to be. Yeah. My title Manners is coming up, baby. I'm so excited. Look at him. Got to Got to get. Got to study. Got to watch some AEW clips. I watched Shang Chi, so now I'm learning Ch Tai Chi. Shang Chi. Incredible. And the Ten Rings, yeah, the new Marvel movie. I did not see that. Yeah, it just it was on it was on Disney Plus and it just oh. theaters. We're, we, I like how we neglected the second spinner belt. <laughs> yeah, the, the other one that's from a different promotion. Okay. He's become he's, one he's with the, the belt collector. I'm the belt collector, baby. Excellent addition do? to my collection. What are you gonna do when the belt collector comes for you? I'm not be scared if that's how he comes looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> feel pretty me? confident that I can win the title off of this idiot. Yeah, <laughs> he's the longest reigning podcast champion, Mike. It's got to be good for something, right? Yeah, he doesn't scare good. me. It's good for keeping me dry in the rain. Steely facade is gonna make sure. He, I, I dare you disrespect the title that like that. One. Oh my god! Uh, all right, so the the gauntlet has been thrown down. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he cut you off as quick as he could. Well, he last time we talked about he doesn't want anyone to hear the truth. What this is. The truth is what's going to happen to him at full gear. The truth is, I'm the champion. And as champion, I have to defend my title. I think that's been established as I now be forced to defend my title. But the truth is, Mikey, is that you're going to go down. And you're going to go down bad. And you're going to go down hard. <laughs> you better watch it. You better watch out. I'm coming. You know what? You know what? Next oh, week, you better shit. watch out. You're gonna go, next we're not week, next week, whenever we do full Next gear. week, no, no, no. Next week, I, I'm. I gotta listen. What? I gotta build myself for this title match, Brian. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta build myself up. Ooh. All right. I'm all right. gonna go down faster than Miro. Oh my god. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm sure. Your wife, bro. <laughs> it's like Redeem family his, show. <laughs> family these, show. These nuts have been redeemed. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna go. You're gonna go down faster than uh, um. Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. This guy's hiding behind his thumb. He's scared of you, Mikey. Ryan Knightsey fears Mikey. I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna put like a big Ryan fears Mikey or Ryan fears yes. Mikey sign behind it. Go. Move hands. Guys, the look at that. I'm kicking my feet underneath my table. What are we doing here? I'm just going with it. I'm being entertaining. That's what I'm supposed to be doing at the podcast champion podcast house. Welcome to Grand Slam or Bland Ham. Oh, God. <laughs> What in? Oh, that was. What is it? <laughs> the way you came into it. <laughs> Bland ham was pronounced so powerfully. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Bland ham. Have you guys ever played Grand Slam or Brit Bland Ham? No, right? No. no one's played your game you made 15 minutes before the stream started. No? That's incorrect. His manager did it 15 minutes before the stream started. Grand Slam or Bland Ham is the show that's sweeping the nation. Have you all seen AEW Dynamite's Grand Slam? Of course. No. Really? How I'm watch I was going to watch it today after I finished independent wrestling. This is going to be much this. harder for you then. Yes, I literally avoided the slack because I saw all your stuff, and I'm like, I'm not getting spoiled in this fucking show when I'm actually caught up for once. It ain't happening. Well, I don't think there's any spoilers in this game, but I don't remember. Uh, well, if I, I get we'll spoiled, see. I'll be I honest. Don't remember, I don't remember because I made this game. Listen, too. if you're going to get spoiled, at least let, let us ruin your day live on camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for entertainment yeah. purposes. Fine. You know, for the Twitch audience. At least it'll be entertaining for everyone that's watching to hear me go, God, fuck. <laughs> think, think about how funny it would be. Think about the content. Think about the content. The grand like and subscribe <laughs> anyway. Grand Slam or Bland Ham is very simple. It's a very simple game. Basically, I'm going to give you an opinion I have about AEW Dynamite's Grand Slam show, or I'm going to give you an opinion on the deli meat ham. And you can tell me which one is which. Okay. Cool. I'm in. Huh. Uh, just so you have to so buzz in. And then you gotta tell me if it's slam for Grand Slam or ham for Bland Ham. Does that does everything sound okay, guys? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Let's do the game. First up, the best wrestling television show I might have ever seen. The Buzz. Yes. Yeah, Zach. W Grand slam. Oh. No, no. Zach buzzed in. He said slam. Yeah, That's no, correct. Yeah. Congratulations, Zach. You got it correct. Next up. A deli meat that is so bad that it requires other stuff to accompany it. Buzz. Buzz. Uh, I heard Zach first. What? Ham. Yep, ham is correct. That's two. <laughs> Ryan is a biased judge because I'm coming for his mm. title. <laughs> this is not. This is not being judged fairly. Number three would be better if it was paired with something else. Buzz. Mikey. Ham. Eh, incorrect. It's what? slam. <laughs> it was slam. It's like parallel TV show. Uh, it, uh, no, it has something to do with the MJF Brian Pillman. It would be better if it was a tag team match. I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I could see that. Okay, obvious. Could... That one was so super obvious. So like Varsity Blondes versus MJF and Wardlow. Yeah, that would be a better match. Ooh, and I, that's I, actually I, better. I don't I thought I was Mikey, I don't know how you got that wrong. I'll be honest. I don't know how you got that wrong. I think it was super obvious. Next up, fucking. If you just <laughs> said, if you just, if you just reiterated in the first answer that ham needs extra stuff to be good. The packaging is outstanding, despite the gross juice it leaves behind. Buzz ham? What was it, yes? Ham? Ooh, incorrect. It How? Back slam. Uh, I, feel like, I think uh, Malachi Black's packaging is very, very good, 
uh, despite the fact that he blows black mist at you. I think that's, it's a little gross juice, but you know, it's otherwise, I think it's a great packaging for the man. What? Okay, that's that's a Grand Slam thing, because he's never done that. Okay, well, that should be fun to see when he does there that. There it is, he ruins that, because they were oh, the spoiler. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's the first. Yay! Whatever, I love it Malachi happens. Black. I'm actually about to buy on Friday uh, a Malachi Black mask shirt, because I'd love nice. it. fucking love Malachi Black. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Anyways. Anyway. It's only good of mustard. Buns. I believe Mikey was first. Uh, I'm just going to keep guessing ham until it's right. Ham is correct. I, was hey. say, I don't know who would One be good with mustard. Mikey. Good job. Good job. The best thing between two white bread. Buzz. Buzz. Mikey. Grand Slam. Correct! Tully Blanchard with FTR. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's a great manager. With a, little, all, with a little bit of mayo on there. He's one of the best managers out there, albeit behind uh, Alex Abrahantes. Uh, Telly Blanchard, just a great manager, and you know, you know, the, the, what can I say? Hey, Mikey, is the Mayo Sean Spears then? Yes, because <laughs> it's, it's an extra white dude. <laughs> Chairman likes his chairs. Next anyway. up, next up, if I went to Giant to purchase it, it would be the end of my life. The deli meat is atrocious. Why have this when I could just eat barbecue? Hey, Buzz, Zach, it's got to be ham. It's ham. Oh my god, I was so desperately hoping it was Grand Slam just to hear your convoluted explanation for that. <laughs> I think these are very obvious. I'm surprised. No, you... no, no, no. I'm not the rest of them were. This one would have been very convoluted. <laughs> Considering how specific that that question that... was. God. Daddy chill. Next <laughs> up. Slimy and gross. Buzz, Zach. slam, incorrect ham. Is it actually? I was like, oh, I maybe. Thought some, was, I, oh, I thought you. Were, I thought you were talking about MJF again. That yeah. would have worked. I don't go, that could have worked, but I don't think he's slimy and gross. I think he might be slimy, but I don't know if he's gross. No, uh, on the other hand, he's both, both of those things. Is slimy. <laughs> ham for this man is not a good plan. In fact, I would prefer flan. Well, I'm not a fan of your plan. Ham is the man. I'll take that as a buzzin. <laughs> you. <laughs> that was pretty flaw. That was a pretty flawless flow. I can't really. I couldn't. Even, I literally. Fiz- that, that was like a, like a stun move Zach just did on me. <laughs> to like stop me from buzzing in. <laughs> I, would, I would rather rip out my tongue than talk about this some more. Uh, buzz. Mikey. Grand slam. Correct. Hey. I don't. I don't want to talk about this Cody heel face discourse anymore. He was literally Homelander. He's home. He's in the middle. He comes out in the middle in between the heel side and the mid. He's the gray zone. Okay. He's the middle. He's, he's, I don't want to talk the, about this anymore. Not the historic knowing, middle. He he needs to be. He Cody is the moral bar of AEW. Not knowing anything about Grand Slam. Yeah, uh, Cody's always been the moral. Like, there are moments where I'm like, that's pretty heelish. And then he comes out with the American flag, and I'm and he's talking about how great the, everything is. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty face. It's, it's He's Cody. Yeah. Oh, so he gross. needs some milk. That guy's hurt. He needs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing is happier Nick makes me happy on the show than someone getting cut off by a sound cue. It's and funny. Just face palms. Can you? Oh. Don't worry. This I'll is why rooting. you're on probation. I'll be rooting for Mikey the whole time that you lose that title at Revolution. God, See, I got, I got my Indy Waters co-host on my side. God, yeah. Respect. Check it out every Wednesday here on the Count Network. God, yeah. God, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Anyways, that was that one. Anyways, that was Grand Slam or Bland Ham. So incredible. You're welcome. And not do as good as this one as I did on the NXT nicknames. That's true. That was here. This is the better one. Hey, cut cut that first part out. Put this in. That was Grand Slam or Bland Ham. Here on this here on this C O N. 
<laughs> hey, welcome to 702 and the 405, and I'm going to be talking to you live as we go to the drink of the thing. We have a big, <laughs> big, big pile up in the 95 and there's dumping down the street. We got another thing. We got a bland ham. Sponsored by bland ham. Bland ham. The only ham that's better for you. And tune, ba- and tune back in for Taylor Swift's new album here on CON 101.6, The Buzz. Coming back at you live with Taylor Swift album on the new 7252-7822-7821-899-444-FL. Wow, you two just, you just took that shit and and, then, and then, of course, our special guest radio talk. We have a talking about his new movie coming out. Dave Batista in the studio here on uh, CON 101.6, The Buzz. Uh, this is my bonnet. That's what the word. I was really sitting there like, what does that look like? And then it's a fucking body. <laughs> Put that in his head and I was looking. I was like, what is that? My what just something? happened? You two ran with that bit. For so- I was just sitting there. I'm like, how how long are they going to go? I think I blacked out for a second. And then he pulled on a fucking bonnet on his head for the made of the title. And suddenly everything came back to fucking reality. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> yeah, that is my brain right now. There might oh, have been like, an error oh there. My God. <laughs> Somebody just hit the, took the onslaught and went, no, 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 not today. Click. Click. You lost, you, you, uh, you lost your phone today. <laughs> yeah, so Mikey, what happened there? You lost your phone today? Did you, did you break it or did you lose your phone or whatever? No, I, I, so I dropped it and the screen cracked like really bad. It like was a really deep crack and I didn't notice it. Was there a story so, behind you dropping it, or was it well? Just- yeah, I was just I came home from work and I uh, like just was going to get changed that like into like regular people clothes and I just like put it on my shelf, but like not good enough, I guess. So when I bumped into my shelf, it fell off. Oh, okay. And it landed nice. awkwardly, I guess. Awkwardly enough to get a really huge crack in it, destroy the display Nothing. on it. Is worse when the screen gets cracked so badly you try to use it and then you start seeing glass coming off it and you're just like, oh, that's literally voice. exactly God. what happened Fuck. just now. It's I, the- I like, I was like, I noted because I was just going through Twitter and then all of a sudden I noticed a black spot. I was like, what the heck is that black spot? And I like rubbed my finger across it to see if it was like a crack and then the mm-hmm. glass came off on my thumb and I was like, fuck. And then the screen went, oh, oh God, it's literally <laughs> the worst. Yeah, oh, I've done it before where like I'm like scrolling on my phone and I have a f- screen crack or whatever and it's like you get glass in your fingers. Yeah. Oh. Or it's not like glass, it's like whatever the plastic covering is mm. you know, on, on the phone. I don't know. What those, I guess those are plastic. I guess some of them are, I don't know. I really don't know what these are. Technology mm. uses me sometimes. Fair. Hmm. Fair. Um, yeah, so technology just- I, I i was waiting for the for him to cut one of us off and then start his next game but no no he I as well yeah. i was definitely oh, I, don't, I don't have a second game I, was like, he was, he, I don't do that anymore false no, i don't have a second game i've listened enough i don't to think that- you're i think you're incorrect mikey got baited last time, yeah last, last time, time i believed you last time i believed you on that i got boom look man look man I, first of all oh, why are you boring me i'm right first of no. all second of all I'm on probation, man. I had a game prepared, but it got canceled. So I can't do the game anymore because of the well, pro- you- I have to be on my good behavior. Why so did you the game get so, canceled? Yeah, the, the game isn't the problem, right? It's your behavior with the soundboard during the game that's on probation. The game did nothing I'm wrong. Sure. I mean, the, game he said. Did everything. the game is, well, all my games are perfect. The problem Wallace. is, the problem is, is that I can't be my true authentic self with this probation on me. But I have to be calm, conceited, and and, and creative. Just looking at him saying I need to be calm, conceited, and creative, and he's wearing looking like he's already head. reading off of the script. He's Just like me. I have to be These are the three C's of calm, calm. conceited. And the then he's like oh, the three C's of calm creative. are calm, creative, and conceited in no particular order. And don't forget, don't forget the, the other. Don't it's forget the fourth C of comedy, which is comedy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about timing. <laughs> it's all about timing. It's really hard to like adjust my seating um, while I'm like wearing all this. 
and look down at my soundboard. Right, it's like sure. it's like wearing a neck brace. <laughs> I can oh, already I can please. already picture I can already picture being like Ryan. Why is your nose bleeding? And the belt fell on my face when I was trying to change the scene. If you don't, if you aren't watching the show on twitch.tv forward slash cannot Thursday, oh. you're missing something, right? Oh. He this looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I do look pretty ridiculous, honestly. Honestly, if you wheeled him out in a wheelchair right now, I believe him as a heel champ. <laughs> he'd have the fucking, I don't know who he'd have pushing him, but he'd be like, yeah, who's who's your who's your who's like who's like your muscle that pushes you around that protects you? Jesse. If you could pick one, if you <laughs> who did you pick? My girlfriend Jesse. <laughs> she's my she's the muscle. Honestly, muscle. Jesse's. Mirror... I was gonna say I was gonna say if you could pick one wrestler to do that for you, but then that answer was so much better. Honestly, yeah. Jesse's <laughs> mere presence of like don't fucking step in this ring would be enough. To be like all right. Yeah, she's Zach, what about you? If you could pick one if you could pick one person to be like your muscle if you were like the heel in the wheelchair who's faking an injury for a while. Mm. Like who's like who who are you picking? I gotta think of who's, who's the good? scariest person that I who's the scariest looking person. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. she's oh shit. Oh no. Come out. Here she comes. <laughs> Gonna beat me up. Hi, Jesse. Uh, get out of here. Hi. <laughs> if I could pick a scary dude to put me, I'd pick like Champa or Thatcher to just stand behind me. Okay. I like a Thatcher. I, I was thinking big guy, but I was like, Thatcher, I feel like would be like if he just smiled and you saw he's like, oh God. It's like, yeah, step in the ring. I can actually wouldn't be able to get in the ring. You're fucking in a wheelchair. Oh man, I'm trying to think of who I would pick. I feel like there's a lot of good choices. There are a lot of scary looking people. I think I would. I'd probably go with like a like a Brian Cage type, you know. Yeah. Someone who I know is also a nerd, a yeah. little bit underneath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can have conversations with them as well. Yeah, I I picked the Wardlow approach. And hang he needs out. to be big and scary. I mean, Brian Cage thing. is big and scary. You think yes. Brian Cage fits that quality? Listen, nerdy and big and scary aren't mutually exclusive. Yes, but I would be heel and I'd be MJF heel. I'd be like, my muscle doesn't need to talk to me. He just needs to beat them up if they come near me. And mm-hmm. Thatcher will put someone in a Kimura and break their arm, and I'll be like, it's my guy right there. What about you, Ryan? Hey, you got Jesse. Yeah, do you think Brian Cage has ever played d and I wouldn't be surprised. He's got, he's had to have been, right? Or yes, he's- but he's not, he's not the class you would expect. He's like a, a 35th level, like, sorcerer, wizard, it's a wizard, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I could see him being like, like he's, a trans- a he's like a transmutation wizard. What if he's a bard? <laughs> Wouldn't be bad. I could see him with the personality to pull off a bard. Yeah. Yeah, I hmm. feel like I feel like that's definitely happened. Like, what are so, I, some other people who probably... <laughs> there's probably so many people who play D&D that we don't know about who have, character, who have com- characters that you would absolutely would not expect. Never expect oh, yeah. Can I do a quick... Oh, oh my god, that was so you're, much you, louder. You're spamming that one. Objection! God, it was even more louder than I, I actually like, heard it. I feel like you guys are expecting me to do something. I could talk no all night. I expecting you to do anything. We're just, I, just having a fun conversation about who Ryan, we want to push, around, push us around in a wheelchair. I feel like you guys, are, the cool I feel like you guys are looking at me. I can literally talk to a wall for hours and have an entertaining conversation. Having you guys here is just even better. Like, I feel like you guys are looking at my face and thinking, man, that guy looks like an idiot right now. Honestly, you're I'm the, just sitting here going like, he's going to hit us with it. He's going to have this second. Like, you're saying that right now I don't look like an idiot? Yeah. Old choice. I, I never said those words. No. You said I it never said me. those words in that order. Why can I... <laughs> Why can I literally, we're going to have like a 15-minute conversation about fall on Indy Waters this week. About fall? Is the best. Fall is the best season. You cannot change either of our minds. Can we all agree, though, that winter is the worst season? Like, winter is... Um, I don't like summer. You don't I like summer? Ra- I think I'd rather winter. Mikey hates the heat. Makes him I don't sweat. like, I don't like being hot, yeah. What Jesse just gave me a thumbs up. What, Jesse? If you want to be on the podcast, come on the podcast. Winter is... If you're going to interrupt this, then come... <laughs> what, what's up? Talking to the microphone. Summer is the worst season. It is- Thank you. You be. Oh. <laughs> That's the quiet. Damn. 
heard you. <laughs> it's just me? being hot. Being hot is the worst thing in the universe. I don't mind it too much. I disagree completely. For granted, I, would I rather, also sweat. I can't stay on the beach for more than like two hours, and then I'm sick of it. Would you rather? Would you rather be in like around a hundred degree what temperature or thirty degree temperature? Thirty easy. Thirty. Not even close. Hundred easy. Not even close. Thirty. Hundred is hot, but I feel like thirty you can bundle up and it wouldn't be too. Well, granted, am I inside or am I outside? You're outside. I'm outside. Oh, right. that changes things a bit. <laughs> Because if I had like a house, I could just sit still inside. Like, even, nice... I, I think I'd still do thirty. I think I'd still do thirty because you could be way more prepared for a thirty degree day than you can be for. A yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing degree. about the being like the winter is that I don't want to be. I don't want to prepare myself for the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, but still, I should I, just I, walk I out. Just... I should just walk outside with what I'm wearing, and that would be fine. I guess, but like I still, I still like coming in. I still like going out there all bundled up. It just feels cozy going out there all bundled up. And then, like, sure, it's a little cold outside, but like, it's probably a nice thing, See, a nice fun winter thing you're doing. For and me, you come changes. back home and make yourself like a hot chocolate with some alcohol in it and uh, chill out for the night. <laughs> for actually- me, though, that changes when there's wind. That's when I hate winter Ooh. when the wind hits me wind in the face south. and I feel like I'm getting assaulted by the wind. The thing about wind is that it's wind is an advantage for summer and a disadvantage for winter. Yes. Because wind is like the thing that gives you that nice refreshing breeze when it's hot. And then winter, it's like and then I'm winter a it just ass. makes it ten times worse. Oh yeah. it's oh god. It does remind me of one of the but ice pictures I Summer wrote. is sorry, I was gonna say summer is also the season of tourists, and it's, I despise tourists. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say humidity. That's what gets me for summer. Humidity could suck my dick. <laughs> Also, the human walking outside to run. I hate, I hate being. The I hate just... being. I hate existing in New Jersey during the summer because going anywhere on the weekend is impossible. Because there's people from PA, New York, Connecticut, all coming down to the Jersey Shore for the weekend, and it drives me nuts getting stuck in that traffic every weekend in the summer. If it's remotely <laughs> hot. Very true. Everyone does show up, and we already have bad enough traffic in Jersey as it is. Exactly. I could feel <laughs> that's why i hate the summer this kind of reminds me of one of the icebreakers i have written down and it was do you prefer summer or dogs <laughs> what's the difference <laughs> i prefer honestly you know how much i love summer i prefer summer over winter but i also prefer dogs over summer that's, that's fair. I do prefer a dog over summer because a dog is good anytime. Yeah. The dog, what about the dog days of summer? Like August. <laughs> those, are, those are rough. Yeah. If, you have a, if it's August and I have a dog, I'm all the happier. Zach, yeah. dog? I mean, dogs are amazing. I'm biased. I have a dog who is my son, basically. Mm-hmm. I care for him all the, all the time. Can you go more into detail about how much you care for him? I walk him twice a day. I, anytime he asks for anything, I've got his back. I also am the person to be like, you're a dumbass. I'm not doing that. You know what I've been watching on Instagram lately and I've been considering, and I don't think it'll work for my cats, but eventually for a dog, is that do you know, Zach, that you can buy like communicating buttons for your dog? Like oh, buttons yes. on the floor that are like want, treat, mom, cuddle, you know, like different. Those videos on TikTok are wild. Yeah, I just been watching those for the past huh. week. They're wild. The dog is literally like having a conversation with people. It's it's crazy. He's just using these buttons. It's yeah. like they bring up they bring the dog like his their favorite toy or something, and the dog is like happy, happy, happy. It's like, yeah. oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, it's adorable to seeing a dog press the cuddle button. And <laughs> yeah, right. And then the dad's and it's like, like, yeah, okay, come on in. Oh, do you want to cuddle? And then the dog's just whacking it, wagging his tail. <laughs> so adorable. Just, dogs are too precious for this world. My dog wouldn't be smart enough for those buttons. I already know that. <laughs> My dog's a brute. <laughs> he would just step on the buttons and then sit on the couch. He would just he step would... on all the buttons and like try to bite them and just make incoherent sentences. <laughs> so because I didn't have a game prepared for this second half, should I, I actually have... didn't? But I did it, dude. I, I thought it. it was a bit where you were gonna like cut no. one of us off mid sentence. No, I don't have a. This isn't a bit. I had a game prepared, but then because of the probation, I got I couldn't do it anymore. 
Do you have a name for it? I want to at least know what the name of it was going to be. It was called the best worst moments from Dark Side of the Ring. We were going to do a 64 oh. bracket, and it was going to start with number one, Ric Flair. Oh, I'm, well, oh, listen, I'm willing to let him. I'm kind of willing to let him slide for that game. What that do you, sounds fun. It was going to be uh, Brian Pillman's story. Three was going to be Chris Benoit killing his family. Oh God! Uh, it would be it, we were going to have to pick the best worst moment. So I got canceled for it because the internet because the audience doesn't want me to do it. I'm on probation. I have to be on my good behavior. Fair enough. I so what am I going to do? Like that would be. What am I going to do when I have this great idea for a game that I think would be the like one of the top ten moments of podcasting history? And here I am, egg on my face. Just like, what am I going to do, you know? Can one of us host it? Look, man. We're, not on, we're I, not on probation. Look, man, I have to pass all these by the board, and the fact that they said no on it means I couldn't go forward with it. So I don't have anything prepared. So if you want to get the game together for next week, Mikey, you can go for it, because, because I, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm on probation, so I can't do nothing. I'm on probation. I might do that game next week. That, that idea. Honestly, I kind of want Lauren to be on next week just to hear his takes on that. I can host that game next week. Seems like you have a lot of the details panned out. Do I? Do yeah, I look I, like I have all the ideas panned out, man. I try I mean, to have you, all the. You look like you look like you do look like a goof, but you still are holding two championship belts. You have to be doing something right. Daddy, chill. I've been doing my best here, man. <laughs> I've been I've been out here Daddy. in the streets, in the sheets, doing my best. I've been going to gas stations. I've been going to Bed Bath and Beyond. I've been going anywhere that sheets are found. And I've been trying my best that I can to prove to the board of podcasters that I'm good. And we're talking the board. We're talking Mark Marin. We're talking Scott Aukerman. We're talking both Jake and Amir. We're talking Joe Lanza. We're talking, we're talking Rich Krejci. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking Lauren Rosenberg. <laughs> we're talking the podcasting board here. And I, and I, and I, and I try to get these games passed every single week. And not everyone get passed. And this week, I'm on probation. And they're like, you can't do games that are offensive to people. And I think that's fair. But, like, I'm the one over here that's like, you know, like I said, egg on my face. I got a big old yoke. I'm not yoked. Also, I'm not jacked. I'm not yoked. I'm not swole. I only got that on my face. Because I got stung by a bee. And I'm allergic to bee stings. So I... I'm swollen. God. So, it's bad, dude. It's bad, you know? Okay, but why though? That's why though. I just he he literally like that was the like, equivalent of like high fiving himself like yeah. <laughs> All right, he I, he mic drops while nobody was watching. All right, I, I actually yeah! I have a question for you guys that I got that I've been asking people have been hearing about lately. Waffles or pancakes, which is better? Oh, we're doing icebreakers. Should we go to transition to icebreakers? Hold on, I got something for. Oh, that. he's sure. got some for that. Austin Powers again. You want something different? Yeah, I've, been, I've been down for it, but I mean, I love Austin Powers the same. Hold on, I'll do a rhyme. He's out. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> We're all gonna dance. I think he's out. Healthy Mikey. You can't beat him, join him. Oh my. <laughs> We're falling apart. Dude, he, he became blindfolded for a second. That Someone take a picture of that. And the show make, is falling apart. God. We're on episode five. And we're <laughs> we're falling apart already. All down, diamond hands. You gotta like, just gotta hold on to the hope that this will get. He'll <laughs> pull his shit. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Hey Zach, what's your first icebreaker? Waffles or pancakes? Which one is better? Should we do? Should we do speed icebreakers? Speed icebreaker, sure. Speed icebreaker, sure. Just 
do it. So like, Zach, so like that, Zach does when we answer it. You do one, I do one, and we just keep bouncing like that. Just okay. trying to yeah. pick them up on the fly. Okay, cool. Ready? Three. Yeah. Uh, oh, pancakes. 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 The good people. Good people. Okay, my next one. Yes. yes. Next. Yeah, yeah, you're next. Yeah, you're next. Name a male wrestler you like to French baguette style. <laughs> Finn Balor, done. You bastard! God damn you! No, MV Young. That's no, that's correct. You can only you can, for all of these you can only pick one answer. One the answer. other you can't pick the other. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god! Can I change right to MV Young? Sure. I mean, I'm gonna steal Finn Balor because that's a handsome looking man. Okie dokie, Mikey. Uh, do you like ice in your soda or no ice in your soda? Ice. No ice. Nice. <laughs> Zach. What's your favorite color? Red. Green. Fair enough. Mikey? What's it's your turn? You. What'd you say? It's, it's your you. turn. What'd you, what was your favorite color? Oh, I said red. Red. Oh. He's wearing it. You get a million dollars, but you can only spend five dollars at a time. What would what would you what do you buy? Bunch of Taco Bell. Lottery tickets. For five dollars? I don't think Taco Bell's that cheap. No, yeah, it is, I, dude. The five dollar box is my guy? Bro, you can get like a dollar like um, what, what is it? What are the potato <laughs> things? The loaded, the grillers. You can get those for like a dollar each. Well, I guess it's fair. Zach, what is it? That? I no, said I lottery tickets. <laughs> Mikey? Um. Oh shit! I had one. Uh. What? Dude, the no, no. clock is ticking. Oh, oh it was uh grilled cheese or mac and cheese. Oh. Fuck. Grilled cheese, easy. No, sorry. Right, I'm mistaken. I'm in- incorrect. Incorrect. Error. Uh, mac and cheese. I'd have to give it to mac and cheese. It's fair. I also give it. <laughs> Zach. Uh, you can have dinner with one wrestler and anywhere. Which wrestler do you take to dinner? Uh, um, 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 uh, I would take, uh, 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 Pac. Honestly, that would, that'd be a pretty be fucking fun. fun dinner. Uh, Orange Cassidy. <laughs> oh, best dinner. Zach, who you take it? No, he already, he asked the question. You can't already ask the question. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, wipe your butt. Sitting oh, the answer's sitting. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? And wipe your butt sitting or standing. Come on, guys. Clock sitting. Is- sitting. Come on, animal. I'll stand. You've asked this question. I've, I've heard this I've, question I've, from I've, Ryan. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Many oh, times. Since we were objection. 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 You've asked. I've asked this. Asked this question. I've asked. You just grammar Nazi him. From Brian. How dare you? Actually, I can't deny it. Mikey? Uh, which Pokemon star do you pick in? Char- uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle? Squirtle. Squirtle squad, raise up. Uh, Charmander. Oh, fuck. I have to think of um, Zach. Uh, let's see. I came prepared. You, yeah, you <laughs> why, fucking why didn't you? Why didn't you come prepared, guys? Because I asked. I didn't think it was going to be a bit, but I'm fine with it being a bit. Favorite superhero? Uh, Spider-Man. That's a good choice. Uh, 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 Batman. That's, that's also that, that, that's that's a reasonable. reasonable. All those are good answers. <laughs> I don't like that choice. You don't like that you picked Batman. Didn't like you don't like edginess. You're not my dad. Um, <laughs> no one is his dad. Uh, do you Ayo. think that dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, Farmers Only has ruined the life of love? It, it life that life as love. Is caused society to become so engrossed in doing comprehensive decisions on choosing a partner by looking at pictures and hobbies, etc., instead of just being at a bar and you know saying hello to someone you like? Do you think that dating apps have basically ruined uh, finding love? Yes, because it monetized it. I'm gonna go with yes, but I have never used them, so I wouldn't know. Is that like a personal attack or something, Mikey? Uh, okay, so what? So what game that what what game that hasn't come out yet are you excited to come out? Oh, uh, personal preference because me and my cousins played is Dying Light Two. That shit's been delayed six times now. I swear to God, if it gets delayed, Nintendo Direct, land, baby. I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. Also, I'm breaking the rules of answering this one. Splatoon Three. Ooh, that's a good one. We were right over there. What you got there? Wait, I think the first thing. Yeah. Shit. 
Fuck Daddy. you, man. Oh my god. Daddy. Eddie Kingston, where'd you where'd you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, last one. Zach, last one. Last one. Oh. Last one. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. It's gotta be. It's gotta be great. It's right, gotta. You be didn't great. answer the question. You didn't give me a game. You gave me a stupid soundboard bit. I didn't give you a stupid soundboard bit. I gave you the answer. Uh, best game I'm looking forward to is um, 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 dude. Look, I don't really know, dude. I don't really know what's game. I've been following games that much. I'm just gonna say the direct came out today. Dude, That's I didn't watch it. I was working till seven. <laughs> Yikes. Uh. Um, just. Do it! I'm going to say Breath of the Wild 2, even though I never played Breath of the Wild 1. Uh, I've played it, but I've never finished it because the game is too much in the game. Uh, it's also, maybe it gets better Breath of the Wild 2, because that's it, the only it, game I know. No, I take it back. Take it back. Changing. Changing. And his name is John C. I'm changing it. It's going oh. to be changed to um, that Marvel real-time, not real-time strategy, but, like, turn-based strategy game, that, like, Marvel Legends. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I'm super excited for that, because I think it's by the same people that made XCOM, and I love that game. It's one of my top five games. Ooh, XCOM's a good one. So I want, I really hope it's very similar, because if it is, I'm super excited. All right, cool. Yeah, they just did a big Nintendo Direct today. They announced, like, Splatoon 3, Bayonetta 3, uh, big Animal Crossing update. Zach, your turn. Uh, all right, I'll ask you guys this. This is a this is a question you guys have had plenty to talk about. Best fast food place. You can't just drop that on me. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's can. also here's the thing. It's also a terrible. You can't expect, me, you can't expect me to windmill slam that. It's terrible. <laughs> we did a fucking podcast exactly. where we ate a bunch of fast food. You're so. the fast food guys. Tell me what's what's the, the best fast, place? Fast, the fast foodies, if you will. Tell me what what's the best place in your opinion. I like Taco Bell. Taco Bell is for is, me. I think Taco Bell's the winner. That is like I have too many. I have a too many good memories tied to Taco Bell, and B, you can get a lot for a little if you if yes. you try hard enough. It also has Baja Blast, so it's a plus. Baja Blast is the worst Mountain Dew flavor. Um, I'm, wow! I'm, I'm I can't believe you just dropped the bomb like that so casually. How dare you? Our our co- the color of the stream is Baja Blast colored, sir. This man. I'm going to say the best fast food thing is this Hibachi Express restaurant that's down the road from me. Is that fast uh, food? Uh, yes, because I, it takes 15 minutes to prepare, and it's delicious. And I, there's no seating anywhere, so I only can only go in, grab it, and leave. It's like okay. It's the well, best. Now, here, we, here, here I look like a goof name. Uh, here I look like a goof naming big chains, and Brian's like, I'm going to support my local business. He fucking hit you with the artisan fast food place. <laughs> Support Atlanta local business. That's what Ryan just said. So, yeah. Podcast champions, the best, baby. Fine, then, then I'll then I'll put over I'll put over a, a, a Jersey place. Cluck you. No, oh, no you can't for some do wings plugs. for you some dope do wings. Plugs. The bit's over. You can't do plugs yet. We're not in the plug spot. Mikey, you know this. <laughs> Anyways, time for plugs. Time for plugs. Sweet plugs. Mikey, plugs. All right, well, go check. <laughs> I should go into the radio voice again. <laughs> well, go check out countoutpod.com uh, count where we have everything you need to know about this podcast network and more over on that website. And, of course, check out countoutpod.com forward slash membership where you can sign up to be a member of the Countout Network and subscribe. Uh, when you subscribe, you get a bunch of fun, exclusive audios like the one we just talked about with Fast Foodies and a bunch of other goodies from the rest of the Countout family. Also, you can go follow us on Twitter over at Countout Pod, where we share our thoughts on the world of wrestling and the world in general and just generally hang out with fans and talk to people who interact with us. So if you feel like let, uh, if you feel like hanging out with us, come come hang out with us over there. It's a great place to do so. Uh, uh, and go check out Independent Waters every Wednesday here on the Canada Network, where me and Zach Batista, <laughs> where me and Zach Batista, uh, go over the, take you to the end of the wrestling. Zach had like one plug, and he just did. <laughs> take you to the end of the wrestling scene, <laughs> where we watch indie wrestling every week and uh, bring it to you because we like indie wrestling, and we want you to like indie wrestling too. Yes, Zach absolutely. Plug. Zach, plug if you have one. I can plug for the network if you want. I had experience with that last week with Indy I, Waters. I, I made him practice on Indy Waters. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> hit, it, hit it, go. Like, for instance, 
if you want to buy some merch, support us at all. Go to countoutpod.com and you can go on our store and find anything from hoodies, sweatshirts to, I believe, uh, what else? Uh, stickers, I think. My, my beautiful creation. <laughs> Come yes. to life. I've watched this man every I've week. molded him from clay. <laughs> go through all these plugs and eventually they're just in my head now. Where are we going to have Indie Waters merch in the store? Oh, yeah. I got to start designing some shirts for that, don't I? I should definitely get on Ooh, that. That could be a fun stickers, time. Like, if you did, like, or stickers or some other. We do have. We do, and that the, fucking thing came to the, <laughs> the, the, the we have a We have a Google Doc where we keep track of the matches we watch, per, like, per week. Yeah. And we have one note in there that's just, like, it was like a one-off line from one episode I can't even remember. It and I, the, put, I, and I put it in a quote. Yeah, we had a big storm. And I was talking about, hey, do we know when the storm is going to end? And I don't know. Zach just belted out the line. I'm not a weatherman. I'm just a wrestling fan. And it kind of just stuck in my head. So we've just kept it like. So in now in bold the, the Indy Water stock, there's just a bold highlighted quote that just says, I'm not a weatherman. I'm just a wrestling fan. I love that. I'm, I'm just a wrestler. I thought you were going to say wrestling man. I'm not a weatherman. I'm a wrestling man. <laughs> Good too. A wrestling man. The new oh. <laughs> meteorologist superstar. Yeah. The t shirt only for meteorologists. <laughs> It's like those hyper specific ones you see on fucking like Facebook. Where yeah. It's like a meteorologist who's like also a part, also a wrestler. <laughs> like, like, and it's like, whoa, know. that shit, that shit describes my life so perfectly. <laughs> I where it's like, person. I'm a mom who's 37 who got divorced two times and have two kids who play <laughs> soccer and one who plays softball. And then on the third week of every Sunday, I go to church with my family and I love guns beer and hanging out at barbecues what? such stupid shit like that it's like what? this is my soulmate <laughs> i found them what is happening <laughs> have you never seen rails. those shirts i've no, seen no no you've never about. seen shirts like that on facebook that are like hyper specific no I've oh god they're so Reddit funny it's they're literally so just, funny it's ridiculous oh my god well I don't have any plugs. Uh, actually, I do have a plug. Uh, go watch Mythic Quest. It's on Apple TV. It's a really good television show. I've been watching it lately. Um, besides that, you can also watch The Circle. I just finished season two, and apparently season three is already out. So go watch The Circle. It's a good reality TV show. Uh, maybe we'll do an episode that's just us being inside the Circle chat. Cir- <sighs> circle God, chat. The Circle is such a, such a show that hooks you in for like no reason. Oh, did you watch this? Have you seen The Circle? I've seen bits. I've never like watched the full season, but like people in my family watch it, and I've like walked past it occasionally. And like when I walk past it, it turns into me like walking past it, like getting a glance to like slowly making my way towards the couch and sitting down and also watching it, being like enthralled for nothing. Can you ask your family? Have you seen season two? Do you know? Uh, I have. I don't think so. Ask I've seen bits and pieces. Ask them if they are. Oh, fuck! What was the other person's name? I gotta look it up now because I'm on a freaking podcast and I'm not. Team pre- Edward or Team Jacob? It's basically that. Uh, uh, Flashing back to what the, the early 2000s, baby. You just uttered a Twilight reference in here. Ask Ask them if they're Team Savannah or Team Tara Alicia. Okay, report- I'll try to remember that. Report back to me, sir. I will attempt to remember that. I'm not going to do it right now, obviously. But I don't remember that. That was all the plugs for this week's episode. Thank you, everybody, for listening to Count Out. Listening to Happy Hour. We'll be back all new next week on Twitch.com. Twitch.com forward slash TV. What is it? Twitch. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't know. Twitch.tv forward slash Count Out. Get out of here. Why it sounds so weird. Get out of here. Goodbye. Good night. I'm coming for your title. No, you're not. You're not coming for my title. I'm the champion. You can't go for the champion. You can't go for the crown. Because the crown is the king. The king gets beat. Just wait till full gear. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. You got to you gotta dethrone the belt, Bonnet. That'll be the end of this podcast. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> Just hit the music. Just hit the music.